Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I have been receiving uh, quite a few messages asking me if I have found a solution for a headlight uh, visor trim ring. For those of you who have been watching my Heritage Classic install videos, I'm sure you have seen uh, a video where I uh, installed a pair of uh, passing light trim rings, visor style. Unfortunately, Harley, uh, as of today, uh, still does not make a uh, visor style trim ring for a Heritage Classic. But not only does Harley not make one, I have not been able to find any aftermarket trim rings that resemble any, anything close to uh, a visor style uh, of a passing light. Quite a few months ago, I purchased a uh, visor style trim ring for Road King, and I thought I was going to do something with it, but unfortunately it's been laying on the shelf for all this time with hopes that I will find something that I don't have to mess around with and do any modifications to. And like I said, unfortunately, it's, it, you know, it's been six plus months or so, maybe longer, and uh, it hardly did not come out with anything, neither did anyone else uh, from the aftermarket world. So the weather's nice out, uh, it's actually kind of hot today, <laughs> and uh, I found some free time and I figured, you know what, let me just uh, see what I can do with that trim ring, if anything at all. Uh, and if you're watching this video, chances are I made something work. So, uh, without wasting too much time, let's take a look at the trim ring that I have and some of the ideas that I have to get this thing mounted that will look semi-decent on the bike. All right, guys, so here's the picture. Um, we have the uh, visor style passing light and uh, the headlight that's just stock. Um, and I'm still still wondering why Harley hasn't made anything to match these two, but it is what it is. And so here is the trim ring that I purchased. Um, looks pretty much identical to what these are, right? But the problem with this uh, trim ring is that it's quite a bit bigger than uh, than the diameter of the headlight. So my thoughts are on this. Um, uh, basically <laughs> what I'm tr what I'm going to try to do and if you see here I'm going to try to take just a little bit off on each side uh, just trim it off and bring it closer together and measure how much bigger uh, it still is uh, from the from the stock headlight now what I'm also going to do because I I am not planning to take the stock trim uh, off I'm going to put this over the stock headlight um, just the way it is however I am going to use this insulation it's a single sided uh, sticky side on, on one side and nothing else on the other uh, and I'm going to line the inside of the trim ring and I want to get it just enough I'm good so I want to trim off uh, just just enough where I can tighten this uh, so that it stays uh, you know nice and tight on, on the headlight itself Chances are I may have to go much further than uh, where this bolt is and I will have to basically drill out new holes and uh, You know shape it in, in such way where I need to you know, I'm able to get this stock bolt back in there. So again, it's gonna be trial and error and um, You know trimming and measuring trimming and measuring and that's that's kind of how this game is gonna go. All right, so Let's go ahead and uh, get the uh, turn signals mount off because otherwise this thing does not fit on the bottom. Okay. Uh, once I uh, take this down, I'm, I I don't know if I need to take this whole thing down or if I just can loosen it up and just kind of drop it a little bit. We'll uh, we'll have to take a look, and uh, I'll I'll let you know. All right, so what I did, I just loosened up the two bolts on the bottom. Now the trim ring can uh, go right over the headlight. Uh, th like I said, there is quite a bit of uh, wiggle room here, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get a Dremel, and uh, I would say I would say I'm probably going to go an eighth of an inch on each side, and uh, see see where we are with the space wise, and I may actually take uh, one of these uh, insulation strips, put it in, in, in the center and see where we line up as far as the uh, tightness and, uh, and just, you know, how it looks.
Hey guys, so this is what I taken out so far. It's basically, uh, I'd say about a third of an inch, right? And I'll show you the little pieces. And this is what I did on the inside. I put, um, let's see if I can, yeah. I put three strips of that uh, single-sided uh, insulation, right? And I just did it all the way around. I left a little space here uh, for the bolt so it doesn't get in the way. And I just did a quick measure. And this thing is actually, sits nice and tight. And if you see here on the bottom, there's actually a good enough gap for me to, once it's in place and aligned, I can start squeezing this. And it will sit nice and tight. So I'm actually pretty happy with the result. I didn't think it was gonna be that easy, but as you can see, <laughs> it was. So let me go ahead and put the bolt in, see if I can get it tightened without taking uh, this brace off and if I need to drop it. All right guys, so this is a final product and um, to tell you the truth, I'm actually pretty happy. I didn't expect it to be number one, super simple. I literally only had to take off this much off of uh, each side of the trim. Um, and like I said, using the gasket, it gave enough um, diameter, or I should say it shrunk the diameter uh, enough to where I could squeeze it using that uh, nut and bolt on the bottom where it is not going anywhere. It's super tight again It created the gasket around the headlight uh, So I'm not gonna worry about you know water getting in there or or you know any other uh, dust and dirt and debris Right, um, and if I need to take it off, it's again super simple just one bolt if I need to clean it, whatever uh, Again, I don't think I have to um, the front uh, of the trim ring sits right up against the headlight it's uh, super tight. I messed up a little bit here. I honestly thought um, that I will need to take off more than um, I did. And, unfor you know, fortunately, I guess, like I said, um, I don't have to. But because of my uh, grinding wheel um, slipped, I kind of marked up the front a little bit here. But I'll, I'll try to find some uh, either uh, a chrome paint or something to kind of touch it up a little bit in the front. But other than that, it's not it's not a big deal unless you up close, you really don't even see this mark here. But it is what it is. Uh, again, like I said, I, I'm fairly happy with w how it came out. All right, guys, so that was uh, a fairly quick and easy uh, modification of the uh, Road King uh, visor style trim ring for the headlight that I modified for my uh, Heritage Classic. This was a project that I've been uh, putting away for quite a while and uh, hoping to find something that will be either OEM or aftermarket. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm actually fairly happy with the end result and uh, it was uh, fairly cheap and uh, it looks pretty good. So hopefully this was uh, useful to some of you. I know, like I said, uh, quite a few of you have been asking me, uh, you know, if I have found a solution for it. Well, now you guys see exactly what I did with it and hopefully you can uh, replicate it for your own uh, 
Heritage Classic or a Deluxe, uh, whatever you guys have, that's very similar to mine. All right, so that will do it for today. As always, if you like the video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.